Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Wyatt. All right. Well, Jeff decided to play some new songs. I'm going to play some old ones. It's okay, I'll wait. I took a little walk today around my neighborhood. I met a man with crooked hands. He stopped me where I stood. He asked me for a dollar for his dinner, if you please. I said you take it all, my friend. You need it more than me. Whistling past the roses, stirring up the dust. Turn the locks behind me and hope that they don't rush. One night I found a carpenter sitting in my tree. I shook his hand and talked a while and then he said to me For a single drop of water I will give a jug of wine I said thank you very kindly but I haven't got the time Whistling past the roses, stirring up the dust Turn the locks behind me and hope that they don't rust. I went down to Laredo just to see what I could find. And I met a Spanish lady, but she waltzed into my mind. Behind me and hope that they don't rush. Living off old memories. 
not one, this next one is one I don't do at open mic, usually. But it's a true story that down in the 1960s, uh, in a little town called La Feria, Texas, near the Mexican border, uh, a farmer found water flowing out of his acacia tree. And people came to know it as God's tree, thinking that it was Jesus' tears that were flowing out of this, this tree. And eventually, the tree, of course, died and the people went away. But it was one of those phenomena where hundreds and thousands of people would uh, show up and come and get blessings to the tree and try to drink the water thinking it would save them and it became a phenomenon. And it was written about in all the major newspapers, in Time magazine, and they got letters and blessings from all over the world for this. So I figured that this uh, couldn't go without a song. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. Back in 1963, in a backyard down in Liberia, a stone's throw from Mexico, a farmer found water flowing from his eight-year-old acacia tree. Some say it came down from the leaves, but from the heartwood there it seeped, as dark as tea and rusty sour, it filled the bucket every hour. He told his neighbors, who told their friends, calls were made and letters sent, and by the end of that very week, the legend of the crying tree was born. People came from all around to see the tree in holy ground and touch the blessed water, and perhaps to swallow down a solitary drop or two. They sang and prayed and rubbed their heads and washed the water on their skin. For they believed it gave them hope to cure them of their miseries there beneath the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. They came from near and they came from far. They came in buses, trains, and cars. They crowded into that tiny yard surrounded by a barbed wire fence and each one paid 50 cents to have a cup to cure his pain there beneath the crying tree. They gathered the water in paper cups with mason jars and rags and buckets. They'd given up on doctor's cures and wasted money on worthless schemes and now they bet their hopes and dreams on the miracle of the crying tree. The preacher said it was the devil's work, but nothing stopped the crowds. Thousands of them now returning for relief of painful backs and feet, a hopeful cure for aching knees, viruses, and sad diseases to liberate them of their worries and their countless maladies. They were singing songs and gently humming there beneath the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. One dark night, an old man led a blind girl by the hand. He paid his pennies for a cup and he got down on his knees. He took a sip, but not too much. He gave the girl the drinking cup and he said a prayer, quietly, there beneath the crying tree. Right then and there a storm came up and it rained so hard the yard flooded and lightning struck and everyone was so amazed to see the crying tree ablaze. The acacia tree burned to the ground, the water stopped without a sound, and all the afflicted souls left town. And after half a century, forgotten was the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree. Every now and then in local lore, you might hear an extraordinary story about a blind girl with hazel eyes that were restored from a cruel disease by a doctor down in La Feria. Yes, she was cured, but who's to say if by science or by prayer or a lightning strike on a lone acacia in a muddy yard down in La Feria. So if by chance you should find the hidden path to Hiram's Field, cast about for a muddy spot and get down on your knees. Breathe deep, clear your mind. Lend an ear, for you might hear those ancient words so sincerely sung that freed the minds and healed the hearts of a thousand souls neath the lone acacia, some would call the crying tree. Carry me, oh, carry me to the fountain in old Hiram's tree. The water there be healing me, bathe me by the crying tree.
Will you remember me? Will you remember me when my heart is stuck? It's beating and I'm lying in this mud. I'm dirty and you may and it has robbed me of my blood. Will you remember me? Will you remember me? Will you remember me when I'm lying in this desert in this filthy Middle East? You dirty politicians made the very worst of me. Will you remember me? Will you hear me crying when I'm dying all alone? Does it take my dying to admit that you were wrong? Redemption, I don't know if that's enough. 